Zeus we just defied the and welcome to my 27th part of Let's Play Empire Total War. And in this part I've spent a good five years building up my army and now I have four stacks of troops. Uh, two in boats ready to hit Spain and two ready to run across over Gibraltar and uh, the Spaniards are completely unsuspecting of this attack and I'm gonna try and overwhelm them with a surprise shock and all tactics. Not very Russian, more German, but um, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this'll, this'll work pretty cleanly. But before I, I, I say anything, uh, I should note this because I found it pretty spectacular that the Netherlands has managed to invade and take Paris, effectively destroying the French nation. And all the French colonies have just turned into a bunch of uh, rebels that are kind of just chilling out all over the um, all over Louisiana and whatnot. So I don't know. I just thought that was spectacular that the that the uh, Dutch managed to invade Paris. But without further ado, I'm going to start um, overwhelming Spain in uh, just a second here. And then I'll hopefully, um, well, most definitely, we'll have a battle for you to follow up. So losing about 900 troops at the expense of 1,400 of theirs, we won up. We came out on top pretty, pretty handily, and that is the first victory in uh, my bid to conquer Spain. I will probably be back very soon, as uh, I'm actually just outside Madrid. Both my armies have driven up to Madrid, and that'll be part 27. Will be the siege of the Spanish capital. But anyway, this has been it for now. Thank you guys for watching. This is Joseph Schwarzman with Stalin signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. All right. So the first battle in uh, my invasion of Spain is going to take place as my two armies are trying to punch through the uh, main forces the Spaniards have at Gibraltar and uh, I outnumber them significantly. I've got over 3,000 troops and they have just under 2,000. So, uh, although they do have some pretty well-trained troops, they got some good artillery, good cavalry, uh, good light infantry, and, and line infantry, pretty elite stuff, but uh, I also have very elite units and my numbers should be able to wash over them with relative ease. Alright, so I'm just about ready to attack the Spaniards or uh, in Gibraltar, and I've set up your pretty basic line. I've got my mortars in the back ready to start bombarding them, and then I'm going to send up, uh, do something a little different than what I usually do. I'm going to send up my light infantry and try and do a little bit of skirmishing against them. And uh, there, there go my, my mortars going to town. Man, that feels so good to be back using those, uh, using those babies. I know, you know, I said I'd stop and blah de blah de blah but, you know, it's just, it's just too fun. It's just too fun and too effective. But, uh, actually I'm going to put a ho little hold on, uh, going to skirmish because, uh, looks like their general, he's just, he's just walking right through. I mean, I was gonna send my my freaking heavy cavalry. Oh, never mind. Go over there and take him out. And that could uh, effectively end the battle before it even really begins. Of course, my my line infantry are going to town on some provincial cavalry here, and they just tore them up. Man, man alive! There's only two guys left. One, one guy. No, nope, never mind. They wiped out the entire regiment. And my heavy cavalry has engaged uh, their general here. I'm gonna have my uh, there's the infantry who also happen to be there come in and give them the what for. And right now my artillery is just going to town on their artillery. And uh, on that note they don't have a lot uh, of their uh, of their cannons left, but we've engaged what uh, the the regiment of horse that happens to have their general in it, with um, my Nerzim infantry and my Saifis, Safis, 
and hopefully I'm gonna hope that the general goes down pretty quick there he goes general is dead and that's gonna make this battle a whole lot easier from now on but now I'm gonna send in the uh, light infantry and gonna do some skirmishing I'll be right back so some of my light infantry are in the city right now and they're fighting some Spanish guerrillas in some street to street combat Man, I, I, that probably sounded really weird when I said that, but it's okay. I'm a weird, I'm a weird person. I think you generally have to be a weird person if you're gonna make videos on YouTube, or no one will sit and watch you do them. But I keep getting hit by cavalry. I thought I took care of them. They actually flanked some of my mortars and and killed uh, a considerable amount of them, which was upsetting. I'll be okay. Oh, they're just cu they're coming back for another round. Set up the um, good old Nerezim infantry to take them on. I'll just keep my my cavalry is is superior to theirs, so I'll just keep them fighting. And also, my light infantry are crushing these guerrillas in this street to street combat. And my Nerzim light infantry are, are getting ready to fire on these guerrillas, and they are cutting them down, which is to be expected. And also you can't get, uh, Gorillas are a special unit you can only get in the special edition, just so you know. And they're actually really good, they're really cool. They're cheap and very effective irregular units. And uh, if I get to play, if I play as a Spanish during my next Let's Play, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using them very heavily. But of course, I'm going to skip ahead just a little bit.